So we're back in the Excel document uh, book two that we created in the previous video where we added to the process sheet a cool statement and that allowed us to simulate how long it would take to heat up this particular batch of material. Um, now we're going to add something else to the system. Quite often in a, a problem like this it will be necessary to add a feed. Uh, so once again I'm going to go to the finished keyword and I'm going to go to the process item and I'm going to choose to make this system what we would often call fed batch or semi batch with a feed tank and some addition of material from the feed tank. You might be getting the hang of this by now. This is going to extend the process sheet and it's going to add more paragraphs. We're going to see some red keywords like phase and liquid, some blue ones like feed underscore tank, uh, more violet ones like reagent, and then um, a new rate process that has been added as part of making the process fed batch is a transfer to. So this is going to transfer to the solution whatever is in the feed tank at a certain flow rate, volumetric flow rate QV, until the volume in the feed tank has reached a certain minimum volume. And the name of this addition is going to be, or the name of this stream is going to be called addition. Um, just from a mathematical point of view, you could see the phase paragraphs as representing the left hand side of the ODE. So D reagent DT, D ethanol DT, D volume DT, D temperature DT. And you could see the other statements as representing the right hand sides. So for example, the cool statement's going to add a UA times delta T log mean. The transfer statement is going to add a QV times the concentration of material in the feed tank to the rate equation for reagent. So um, kind of blending here together left and right hand sides of ODEs, but using just easily readable paragraphs um, that represent really the different elements that are present or we think are present in any particular model. So right now we've got a, a feed tank that's going to have reagent in it and we've got a transfer of the contents of that tank to the vessel. In order to sort of make this reasonably accurate, I'm going to now move to scenarios, uh, which you haven't seen before, but that is where the two experiments are defined and where the initial values for those experiments are set up. And I'm going to use copy and paste here to just um, make myself some extra column headers, um, which are going to define the contents of the feed tank. And I'm going to just drag, just using normal kind of Excel um, functionality to get the word feed tank in um, this group of cells to the right. So I'm going to be specifying now feed tank volume, feed tank temperature, how much ethanol is in the feed tank, how much reagent is in the feed tank. And again, just for convenience right now, I'm going to assume that we have about as much material in the feed tank as we have in the main vessel. And um, that then kind of gives good initial values for both the feed tank and the main vessel. And there's one more piece that I need in order to make things happen, and that is the volumetric flow rate. Uh, a value of one liter per minute is currently defined on process. I'm going to override that on scenarios. So I'm just going to write in the top row the word addition, in the next row the variable name QV, in the next row the unit liters per minute, and then I'm going to use an Excel formula to link to the liters in the feed tank and divide by 120 to say that we would like this addition to happen over two hours. Um, and now I'm going to return to simulator. What we've done there is use the scenarios tab to set up uh, a bit more definitively and with a bit more flexibility some initial values for the different experiments and also um, the rate at which material is being added from the feed tank. If we now run in simulator, 
there will be again a consistency check to see that everything is self-consistent in the model and if it is we get the OK button and can proceed to the simulation environment. This time I'm going to press the play button, have the model run. What we're going to see is, for example, feed tank reagent starts high and then disappears. Um, solution ethanol increases because we add as much ethanol from the feed tank as we already had in the in the container. Same with solution reagent, they're going to increase linearly. Feed tank temperature is as would be typical. 20 degrees C, uh, jacket temperature, um, jacket temperature is, is 80 degrees as we defined earlier. Um, solution temperature has a slightly more interesting trajectory now. Um, we're kind of getting the, the batch up near 80 degrees C, but then we can't quite get there. And the reason we can't quite get there is because we're adding cold material from the feed tank. So it's only once the addition is complete that we're actually able to get to the 80 degrees. So that's the kind of sensible heat of addition. You're seeing that being uh, woven into the rate equations. Feed tank volume, of course, drops to zero. Jacket's duty, how much heat we're adding, um, of course, takes on that similar looking shape to uh, process fluid temperature that we saw earlier. I won't click on the others. We'll do more of that in the next video. In the next video, we're also going to add some chemistry to this model.